Do you remember all the praises I sang to the Oculus Quest 2 in all my videos about it? Forget all of that, because I just found the new best thing about it. And as the confusingly named Virtual Desktop. But not the built-in Virtual Desktop mode that allows you to basically control your PC from inside your VR headset. No, no, no. This Virtual Desktop, despite having the same name, is a standalone app you can buy that will cost you around £15. And what it allows you to do is pretty much the same thing, but with a few extra things that make it so much better. The main thing is that it allows you to do it all wirelessly. So that means you don't need an Oculus Link cable. All you need to do is install the software on your Oculus, install the other software on your PC, and you're ready to go. So no need to even buy the super overpriced Oculus Link cable. And the second thing is that you can even sync up several PCs to it. And it makes me retrospectively even more mad I spent so much money on the Oculus Link cable, but we live and we learn, right? And the process of setting it up is actually pretty easy because once you've installed it, you just click on the app. And once you've entered all the details on your PC, you're taken into here. And there we go. You can even change your environments around. This one I find super trippy because you are basically in a virtual room at your PC desk and you have your PC desktop on the PC at a desk top. This is just a whole new level of meta. It is a pretty cool gimmick though. Anyway, here you get to adjust all your options and the best part is that you can just go into here and just play all your games, even your Steam games. So for example, look, I'm playing Half-Life Alex completely wirelessly and I probably complain about it in several videos that I wish I could do play games on here completely wirelessly and it looks like my complaining actually paid off because now we have this at least I like to think that it was my complaining that made them develop this and it's not like it's already existed for months moving on let's actually check one of the most important things about playing games in a way like this does it actually affect quality can you still get a really good gaming experience going without hooking this up because as we all know wireless game streaming can be a bit finicky, so let's give it a go. Okay, here we are. I'm actually playing Half of Alex, completely cable free. So let's just quickly get into the game and see if the experience is different at all. Judging from the main menu, textures didn't look different at all. I didn't really see any like streaming uh, compression or anything like that. So I'm very curious to see what it's gonna look like here. When honestly, I can't really tell the difference. So we're running at maximum settings, I believe. Let me just quickly double check. Yeah, we are running at max settings. And if we look at something like this wall over here, yeah, I really can't have difference. I don't see any, you know, compression artifacts or anything like that. So let's take this like a grenade, for example. I, the texture wise, like, Honestly, I can't see anything that would like tell me that this is like being streamed over. Like, look, can you guys? I'm not just being blind, or can I just like not see any any streaming artifacts? Can okay, maybe a bit over on like the frame of the door, but I think that could just be more like something that could use more anti-aliasing and maybe less streaming artifacting. I really can't tell. I really can't tell. Maybe a bit on the on a bridge and the lighting looks a bit... I honestly, I... It's very hard for me to... Ooh, hello. Hi, 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 hi. Another thing to keep in mind is that there's completely, like, no lag at all. There's no, like, lag spikes or... Like, these hitching the experience when, like, streaming games. Nothing like that. Hello. But, yeah, this is just a silky smooth... Okay, there was one, like, tiny lag spike there, but... That's it. Okay, that's all well and good. Now I kind of want to see what the range is like on this thing. Okay, so here we are. I'm directly a floor below my PC. And yeah, quality wise, it looks pretty much identical. But we'll see if, um, if connection wise, it will actually last. Because if it does, then I can just play half of Alex in pretty much any room. That would be pretty cool. Oh, hello. And, yeah, it's playing. It's actually playing. Let's probably use this gun. There's actually no hitching, no lagging, no ow, no nothing. Look at this. No cables, no nothing. A floor difference. 
and I still get to completely miss that guy. Apparently. And honestly, it works completely fine in a bathroom as well. So there it is. That's virtual desktop for you. Pretty, pretty amazing. I gotta say, it works completely fine no matter where you tried it. And the quality really does not change. I have no idea how they did it, but it's magical almost. Which definitely makes me feel better about it because I did spend £15 just to make a video about it. But it looks like it could be some use outside of videos after all. But if you want to help me financially recuperate from that, then there's always my Patreon. It's in one dollar month because a long way in helping my channel and it allows me to make way better videos along with videos on way more interesting topics. I'd also love for my Patreons, Gavin Burns, Ryan, LKB, Naomi Sushi, Tiffany Jacobs and Wolfie. Thank you guys so so much, your support really does go a long way. Down there you're also going to find the Amazon Associates links if you want to buy the Quest through yourself. I highly recommend it, it's amazing, and if you haven't checked it out, make sure to check out my review of it. Also down there is our old customs affiliate link if you want a cool customizable keyboard, plus our Discord if you want to talk to me or others about this or whatever else really. And that's about it, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to subscribe, like, whatever, and I'll see you all in whatever I make next. Goodbye everyone, goodbye.